Hello everybody, my name is Terence and welcome to my new YouTube channel called Learning for Flow. This channel is going to be a Christian based channel. We're going to be learning scriptures. We're going to be explaining what we learned, sharing testimonies, sharing our experiences. And yeah, that's the basis of it. When I mean sharing, you got, we going to be learning. I'm meaning you and me. And also there are some people who are going to be involved in this channel you will see visitors uh, yeah basically so guys let's get into our first learning for full topic called uh, scenes and desires basically temptation i learned about this uh, on my devotion that i was doing uh, on the u version please if you need some if you don't have a bible and you have a cell phone you can or a, like electronic device you can like download your version and go through their devotions they are really good guys they really do help as well so guys let's get into it sins and desires our first scripture that i'm gonna be reading is james 1 verse 13 on the new king james version bible so let's get into it it's 30 verse 13 to 40 15 here yeah. so it says let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when he is drawn away from his own desires and enticed. Then when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is fully grown, brings forth death. So guys, what I'm learning from this scripture is that uh, temptation gives birth to sin, sin gives birth to death. So I'm gonna make an example. It's just an example, an example, guys. Yeah, God forbid. It's just an example. Uh, for example, you desire a car, and you des you desire a car based on what you've seen. For example, the target of Fast and Furious, Tokyo Drift, Need for Speed, and all that. You wanna be like, okay, now nah, I wanna be like that person in the movie. So you desire a car. You do everything you like. You you do everything to accomplish that car, even go to robbing the bank, robbing the bank to acquire that money, go buy that car and drive the car the way you wanted it. Already you have committed a lot of wrong things. And for example, you committed, uh, you, you stole from the bank, meaning you stole from people, you committed a crime, which is wrong. And uh, you moved to using the money that you stole to buy a car, to acquire a car, or even thinking of saving that money and stealing the car and driving it as fast as you can, then pam, a truck comes out of nowhere, you hit the truck, then you die. Basically, that's how I feel like the scripture is explaining it to us. There's an example that I'm trying to share with everyone that, okay, I'm not saying it's wrong. I don't know. It is wrong. It is wrong. Yeah, desires, desiring wrong things is wrong. So we can overcome it by praying about it, having God on our side. Yeah. For example, if you are in if you are desiring to do a wrong thing, you can remember a certain scripture. You can remember that you you can remember God and turn that desire into testing, and you can like overcome it and go away from it. There's a scripture that even tells us that God will always provide an escape from it, which is in 1 Corinthians uh, 10 verse 13. Let's read it. Uh, it says, No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with the temptation will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. So the first part when it says no temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to me. It means no matter how much you are tempted, God, God will never allow you to be tempted beyond uh, your, your capabilities of surviving it. So whenever you're being tempted, you're like, ah, I can't survive, I can't survive. There's no way that God would, would have allowed it to happen to you if he knew that you are not going you, you, you to survive it and he won't provide a way for you. So guys, whenever you're being tempted, don't be like, I can't, I can't escape because there's, there's a lot, there's cap. Yeah. So guys, yeah, God is faithful and he's always going to provide a way. So whenever you're being tempted, remember God in every situation that you're in 
and God will provide a way for yeah God will always provide a way guys such as experience like this a lot of us who have experienced it for example I love dessert guys I really do love dessert and uh, I'm always tempted to buy dessert like your cakes sweets and whatsoever whatsoever and recently I found out that I'm lactose intolerant but you know me I didn't care so I still kept it on eating 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 so I saw that this was a problem so I prayed about it prayed about it and uh, these days I'm like okay thank you thank God that he have let help me out and I can see through my temptation and I can escape so whenever you, you know guys when you go to a supermarket uh, wall, supermarket yeah you a hyper checkers hyper everything yeah uh, as in other countries I don't know what you call your supermarkets yeah, Walmart I don't know yeah something like that you know there's always a dessert section whereby when you're gonna look for bread it's always close to the dessert se section so I'm always tempted to buy it so there was this one day I was like yeah nah I went through I went through then I saw this cake so cheap guys I was like mmm it's cheap it's even affordable so I was like okay I'm taking it then I remembered nah this, this is temptation so I prayed about it there and then then I looked at the bread that I came to buy and took that bread so guys it always works it always helps to pray about things pray about temptation and also our problem about this thing is that whenever we are being tempted and we want to go away from it we want we want to go away we go away but we don't want to go too far away we want to be attached to that temptation so whenever we're like ah I, I can come back to this and also and also yeah that's the another thing that we always pray about yeah me too i do pray about it i was like okay now nah, take me away from this but not too far away because i still want to eat it so i also pray that for god to show me a sign whether to is it, it's, it's okay for me to eat candy or whatsoever if like for example because in this devotion he spoke of like uh he, you you don't want to be away from your the candy shop that you always go to so if there's a he prayed that if god wants me to eat the from that candy shop he will allow a parking in front of the candy store so if there if it's something like that that means it's a sign that okay now it's okay but there are some temptation that god will never allow you to go will never allow you to touch to be hold of like your fornication and all that that's so wrong in so many levels guys yeah the reason why the bible advises us not to commit fornication is we i feel like in my head is that uh loyalty is going to be difficult uh, yeah as well because you can see so many marriages falling apart because one partner wants the other part no what's the relationship falling apart so guys uh, yeah and also temptation goes hand in hand with faith okay? if you have faith in god you know that you will always prevail but sometimes if you are being tempted to do something and you think of, of God as well, then you're like, ah, God, I'm sorry. I'm just going to do this today and I'm going to pray for it. That means you you have faith in that in, in your desires. It means that you have faith in your desires more than you have faith in God. So, guys, we got to be mindful of what we do and we got to pray about it so we can survive it. God is there with us. God with us. Yeah. Emmanuel. There's a song that speaks of it. That's a beautiful song. You, you must check it out. Check it out. I don't know the name, but just search Emmanuel. Yeah, God. Uh, yeah, a song that speaks of Emmanuel. You can search it. Yeah. And also, yeah, devotion, reading the Bible, reading Christian books also helps. So, guys, I'm also going to speak of this other scripture. After experiencing everything, after learning and getting wisdom, we move on to Matthew 5, verse 14 to 18, guys. It says, and it's a long scripture, so bear with me. It says, you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a, but on a lampstand. And it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. 
Do not think that I came to destroy the law or their prophets. I did not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Learn and fulfill. Okay, yeah, let's move on. For assuredly, I say to, to you, till heaven and earth pass away, one jot or one little will by no means pass from their law till all is fulfilled. So guys, what I'm getting from this chapter is or after learning, after experiencing, after surviving, you got to teach others. You got to teach others. No, no, no house built on a hill is hidden because everybody can see it. So, same thing with your, your Christianity and your Christian based Christian walk. After learning, you got to teach. You got to be a teacher and live according to the scriptures so people may see God, God's goodness within you. Yeah, guys, that's what I have for today. Stay tuned, stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button, hit the bell button so that you can be informed of new videos coming out. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and comment on the comment section on what topic I should go through the next time. Yeah. So, guys, stay tuned, be blessed, pray during the day, pray in the beginning of the day, pray at the end of the day, thank God for your life, and uh, pray for you all that God be with you, God heals you, God provides you with everything you need, God provides you with success in your businesses or anything that you try to accomplish, yeah, so guys, be blessed, stay tuned, let's follow God, be Christian, let's give our lives to Christ, for he gave you this himself for us because it's so painful guys to be crucified on the cross and be ripped out yeah it was so painful he didn't come all this way to be like okay now nah, i can live my own life he came this way just for you just to die for all of us guys so stay tuned be blessed jesus loves you god loves you and i love you too love one another as i loved you that's a comment from God that he loved with us. So guys, let's one love one another and respect one another. Stay tuned. I love you guys. Bye.